Yeah. It is my first time here. <laughs> I am Lady Venus. Ah, it's hard for me to adapt sometimes to these situations, <laughs> but I've learned a few things since I've been through the last few times. I just wanted to greet you all and let you know that the Venusian people are very happy to know you. We are protecting you from some solar flares at some times. <laughs> we do love you very much, and we know that you know of our existence. It is an unusual one, but we do love you. Carry on. If there is any questions for me, I am Lady Venus. That is a nickname that I brought on to myself from others, but it, I represent the Venusian population. That's wonderful. Welcome today. Thank you. Ah, oh. I have a question from someone I'm able to come personally in the room. Yes. Her name is Christine. Ah. She would like to know if you can help her with how to meditate. I can. Make sure I just heard the words of Yosh you pronounce it Yosh Yoshua? Correct. Yes, Yoshua. I, I heard his words and when he was coming through with his great wisdom, he was speaking about meditation as well. You must find who you are in the meditation side. Now, just Breathe deep the air that is around you and know that it is comforting you and calming you so that you may come into a relaxed state. There is no meditation without relaxation. You understand that? Even if you can be walking around and meditating all day long if you're in a relaxed state unexcited and relaxed and calm also you must be aware at that the beginning of your meditation to do intentions for this meditation so that it might be more valuable <laughs> Value is important. Intention is important. So therefore, bring value and intention to your meditations. <laughs> and relax yourself. If you must put some soft kinds of music or stimulation onto your body that relaxes you, make sure that you do that right away. And then when you go into your meditation, breathing and relaxing, just know that whoever you are, the truth of your being, as Joshua said, let that come forth in your meditations. Even, with, if, you, even if you're intentioning to find out other information, being grounded and knowing who you are is always beneficial. Do you understand? Did that help you, my dear? Yes, thank you. We have another yes. question from Mikiko. Yes. She'd like to know if you also have a spirit guide in the spirit realm. Of course, my dear. We all have our guides. We all have our, our self and the people that have, are trying to help us. 
and so therefore we accept that they are there. Some of you may not even understand what a spirit guide does or why they're there, but realize this. They're only there to guide you through the world and life that you have chosen for this life so that you may learn as much as possible. Without them, you could get way off track and therefore not learn the right things for that lifetime. I'm sure you would learn something, but it might not be what you were expecting to learn. And the soul would, that is within you would be a little confused because you made a contract. And the soul is who you are. It's a complicated, e it's actually very simple, but it sounds complicated, but it's not. Thank ah. you so much. You're welcome. Are there any questions in the room there with you? Can we ask? <laughs> yes, there is. Very well. My name's Raymond. Hello. And I've been wondering what this one thing is that certain groups online are prophesying that it could be a UFO. It's a picture. Where is this picture taken? Up on the sun of an object going behind the limb of the sun. Oh, I and see And I it, thought yes. of all of you who are closest to. Yes. There are many objects like this around the sun. Let me explain what they are. They are actual portholes. They, they, that can be a porthole. It also is uh, not natural. It is, it's made by different species, okay. but the sun is a great vortex, as you know. So around the sun, they draw the energy to themselves so that they may be cast off to another section of the galaxy. Oh. It is a dimensional porthole, and you may think that that is very close to the sun and would cause them to burn, but they are not in this realm. They are in a different dimension, so the sun does not affect them in any way. All right. Thanks for the clarification. And yes, that is from alien beings. I know not their species, but I know they exist. It might be the LEI, but I'm not sure at this right. time. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. Okay, I have another question from someone unable to make it in the room. This is from Luca. <laughs> You would like to know Hello. if you have contact with the Arcturians. Of course. <laughs> but do you know if there's any messages for him from the Arcturians? From the Arcturians? Mm -hmm. I would have to ask the Arcturians for the message for him. But um, maybe an Arcturian will come and give him the message. I am not in connection with him right this moment. So I could not really answer that. But I have something for you. I see that you are rising quickly. And the Octorians will help you with this as well, for they are very spiritual and high people. Find who you are within the Octorian species. Perhaps you already know. But the Octorians are very important to your future. That's all I know for now. Thank you so Thank much. Bree, would you like to ask a question? Bree. Yes. Please, please. Hello. Um, okay, so uh, much love first to start. Um, 
I was really wondering if there are any messages for me and also um, if I can get any um, guidance or help connecting to the right people for the Global Pyramid Conference that I'm hoping to plan. Just bring the intention of the Spirit for your guidance, first of all. You are who you are as an individual, as Joshua said. I, I was very impressed by him. He had a lot of good things to say. However, be yourself, my dear. Do not let others influence you in what you think about this particular thing. And move forward thanking God in advance for all the things that are to come. Be yourself. That sounds good. Do not worry. Things will come together. Nah. I figured. All right. Well, thank you so much. Much love. Take care. I can only tell you what I can see, and that is that things will come together. And it will be beautiful for you because your intention for it is good. Excellent. Good to hear. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for coming today. It's very difficult being in this realm. So I have to go. Thank you so much. Much but love. I wanted to greet you and say hello and tell you that I loved you. The Venusian people are with you and are happy for your ascension. No, we love you too. Yeah, so that... Hello. Mm-hmm.